This is the view you'll see the first time you run GardenCAD. We suggest you click File and New and choose one of the templates that is available in this dialog box. I'll pick Imperial 01. What that does is bring you into the GardenCAD environment showing you a drawing partly finished. It's loaded based on the contents of that very first template. You might use the wheel of your map, position your crosshair cursor as I've done over the lawn in this little design area and roll the mouse wheel away from you and roll the wheel back. You might want to select one of the symbols here, right click and pick copy and just copy the symbol and put it down somewhere else, right click to finish. So the black area represents the area where you construct your design. There are a whole series of toolbars on the screen. They can be moved around. I could move this one up here and move it even there to get more screen real estate if I wanted. So you can position those toolbars wherever you like. But we're interested in building a design from first principles using some of the elements that come in the template. So I might want to put the footprint of the house down first. I'd choose line. I'd move to the bottom of the screen, which is in an area called the status line, and I'd click polar. What that means is I can now draw a line. I'm in, down in the command area, as it's called. I'm asked to specify the first point. So I'll just click, and then I'll move in the direction I want. You may notice as I swing the cursor around, it locks into a horizontal plane. And as I move it, the distance, this case it's in decimal feet, is shown. So all I need to do is to get an accurate measurement of that wall, which you would have done on your mud map, is type, let's say, 20, and then hit Enter. That puts one wall down. We might then go vertically down, say, 10.5 feet, 10 foot 6 inches. Then we might come across in this direction, 15.25 feet. And then we could go down in that direction and then right click to exit. I'll select that line and the piece of text and then erase it. Now I'm doing all these operations with left and right mouse button clicks. So there's the footprint of the house, but we'd like to extend a line down on the other boundary. So it's draw line. And if I come over here to what's called the entity snap toolbar, I can say I'm going to snap to an endpoint. So that the software picks up that endpoint and I can just arbitrarily draw that down so we have a line at the side of the house. Now we, what we want to do is move the design, which is all pre-done, um, we want to move it into position. So I'll select everything there and I'll pick move, I'll mark a point in the middle of the lawn area and I'll move across and I'll put it in a position. Now this time I'm not going horizontally across, so what I want to do is to line things up so that I can run a line from the centre of this one here up to pick up that path to go into the little area, adult entertaining area or seating area uh, in that zone. So the, the design is already taking place. To gain some idea of what the design will look like on paper, you can go File and Printer Setup and set the drawing up. You might, for the sake of argument, pick a PDF writer and you might pick a suitable page size. If you're working in the US, that might be architectural C size. We might say we're going to go in portrait mode and so we'll say, OK, so we've told the computer that we're going to print this to a PDF file. So I can go File and Print Preview. And there's the design. I can zoom in on it uh, sitting on the sheet. But the whole sheet looks far too big in relation to the small print in the center of it. So I'll hit the Escape key. And I'll go to File and Print. And you'll notice that we're choosing a display. So I'll pick window now and pick because what I want to see on my piece of paper is 
my new design. So now I can preview it. That looks a lot better. So here's the house footprint and there's our design taking shape. All we need to do is put some paving in this area and link up a path so that we can exit the house, pick up the paving and move. So hopefully, let me hit escape now and go back and I'll cancel from there. So that all we would then need to do is to draw in, say, the, the boundaries of the site, which might run something like that. You might have to use a little bit of triangulation to locate those boundaries accurately. And then, of course, you'd want to reinforce this design with some additional planting. For that, we provide you with a series of standard blocks. You could pick tall tree, up pops some sort of list. I could say number 11 or number 12 or number 10. Let's bring in tall tree number 10. And we pick insert and in it comes. We probably want to put that tall tree in the back. Now, everything in computer aided design in Garden Cat is drawn full size. So that if we measure across there, you can see that symbol has come in at a diameter of nine feet. I can right click and select scale, click in the middle and just drag out to make the canopy diameter of that tall tree a little bigger. So if I picked shrubs, sorry, plant selector, shrubs, um, medium shrubs, you use exactly the same approach scroll down through this list until you find the symbol that you want for the species that you've decided to use and the same applies again you can scale a symbol like so and i've got line weight on at the moment i'll take line weight off because there was a thicker line associated with that symbol so our design is taking place in an elapsed time of maybe less than five minutes. The trickiest thing is to put in the boundaries in the house footprint. But remember you're drawing full size and this is an accurate model of what will happen on the site when the design is built. We think it's really important that when you come to terms with Garden Cad for the very first time that you produce something that is meaningful as far as you're concerned. There are lots of templates there and you might like to play with several of them just to familiarize yourself with the content of those templates. You may be able to cannibalize some of that in your own design work.